the puck is down and we're playing hockey in Moncton. The United States and Slovakia in Group B. U.S. with a day off had a pretty good skate. Went through some fundamentals. Far side chance, they score! That's Libor Nemitz, the alternate captain. Followed up his first attempt and buried the rebound. Slovakia leads 1-0. And the Slovaks are a really nice job of going to the paint, going hard. This is really simple hockey. The United States was 0 for 2 on the power play last game. Boucher supplying some traffic. Gauthier, he gets one in front. They score! Cutter Gauthier threw it on net. Tyler Boucher hammered it home, and the game is tied. So they put the dog beat in front of the net. Boucher goes to work, doesn't give up on it, and the U.S. gets this game tied. I think the Slovaks are going to argue for goaltender interference as Boucher when he was dumped to the ice was sort of on top of Guyon the netminder the ball on the ice stands we have a good goal the United States is going to go back to the power play because of the failed Slovak challenge so an opportunity for Team USA Snuggerud recovers half minute left Snuggerud will shoot it on that guy makes a save rebound is there on the back end just wide by Blake wraparound stuff that one's kept out the United States pressuring and buzzing right now. You know, in a backwards kind of way, the goal against woke them up. The Slovaks kill it back at even strength. Lane Hudson will shoot it on net. They score! It was deflected in front of Gayon, and it ended up behind them. 2-1, the United States lead. Brindley gets himself to take away the eyes of the goaltender, so he's just moving back and forth, creating all kinds of havoc, and I think he got a stick on that one just by his reaction. Luke Hughes. Skating around Kometz Hughes to Gauthier. Gauthier lets it go off the post. It's hard to argue with you now, Dave Starman. That first goal from Slovakia that put the U.S. down a goal. It woke him up. And the U.S. digs it out. And Cooley, part of that little Penguins program, but somehow drew up, grew up a fan of the Caps and Alexander Ovechkin. Here's Mashar. Cross ice deflected in front. Umberico with the denial. But a prime stop. That, that's a big play for the Slovaks. They needed something. That was a great breakout. Quick out right through center ice. Good slash to the middle. And Iberico with an acrobatic save on a backhand against the grain. And that's a great job. Power play chance for the Slovaks to try and even up the game at the midway point. Uh, Dvorsky has it at the point. Dvorsky walks down, shoots, scores! Dalibor Dvorsky projected top 10 pick in the next draft. Comes through on the power play to tie the game at two. Dvorsky rips it and you can see if Barico is trying to look around the screen to his glove. When that happens, the obvious move is put the puck the other way because now the goalie's got to look to the other side of the body, which means he's going to lose trajectory of the puck. And that one's a little kick in the shorts for the U.S. because they had it going on for a little bit. Last couple of minutes prior. Power play goal score for the Slovaks. Score! Bako! Rifles one by Imberico, and it's 3-2 Slovakia. Yeah, they don't have a great lane to the front of the net to shoot the puck, and that's what they do. It starts with a really good out, and that is an absolute eyes of the puck goal. Brought up by Nemitz, he's tripped. No penalty called on that. The Slovak bench irate. Well, there is a delayed call. They score! It's a two-goal lead for the Slovaks. A stunning start to the second period. They get a puck, low to high play, simple, and they get a puck to the front of the net, and that just tips off a stick of the U.S. defenseman and goes in. Three goals on seven shots for the Slovaks. Three unanswered tallies. Now you're seeing some aggression. Now you're seeing some intensity, and now you're seeing some urgency. Oh. And now we're seeing a penalty. Notney is down, and Connors is going to sit, and that is not what you want or need if you're Team USA. Puck gets moved, Connors has no attempt to play the puck. It's a violent thrust into the boards on a defenseless player. This could be a big problem. Team USA, number 27, five and a game for yep. boarding. Five and a game, so that means Connors gonna miss. Five and a match means he would. But again, there could be supplemental discipline. Comes in the stick of Blake. McGrody, break wide. Oh, Lucius denied by Guyana. Luke Hughes with a little shuffle. Some skating on the goal line. McCrory in front. Save a rebound loose. Oh, Hughes almost had a chance to bury it. That was a tremendous couple of minutes for the United States. Tampa Bay Lightning there with the possession game they were playing and the D's diving down. Slovaks into the zone. 
Save made by Umberico. He fought it off. And a glove stop from Umberico. Two big saves to keep the deficit at two. He's a tremendous athlete, great flexibility. I think he reads the crease very well. That's good glove positioning right there. He's just coming over. Instead, Sotek was now in front. Oh, another beautiful save by Imperico. Sliding across to stop Zelenka. Three sparkling stops. Flip ahead. Rep cheek on the backhand. Pass save made, but it goes off of Hughes and in. 5-2, Slovakia's lead grows to three. Here come the Slovaks and a nice save by Imberico. I mean, that was a big time stop. And then an unfortunate bounce and the puck lands in the net. Brent Pecknold pulling Kane Imberico as Petrovsky went off for delay a game. It's 5-2, Slovakia leads, 5-20 left in the game. It's six on four for Team USA. Now Cooley, left circle. Goche, one time rebound, score! Tyler Boucher with his second of the game. And it's now 5-3. Birdie, take Set up a little screen to start with. Good shot off the rebound with the goaltender guy on moving laterally. Tough time controlling a rebound. A little no look pass over. To a two goal deficit now. Six on five for Team USA. Gavin Brindley to Jackson Blake. Blake shot. Snared out of the air but played. And that one goes into the empty net to ice the game for Slovakia. Slovaks defended hard all game long. And they get rewarded here with a long empty netter. The Swiss had a day off on this Wednesday, so they will be fresh. A late game penalty. Now you just hope everybody comes out of this scrum healthy. This is not what you want. There's a cross check, and that's when all the I mean, nonsense yeah, started. Five in a game for Baco. And that will be reviewed. Yes, I mean, again, it was a cross check right to. Gavin Brindley's face. Yeah, Baco is 6-3. Brindley is 5-9. A win for the Slovaks. 6-3.